Welcome to the fourth session in our series of videos on how to critically appraise a randomized controlled trial following the CASP checklist. In this session, we'll answer the fourth question. Were patients, health workers and study personnel blinded? So what is blinding in clinical trials? Blinding refers to the concealment of group allocation from one or more individuals involved in a clinical research study, usually a randomized controlled trial. It is sometimes called masking and is used to reduce the risk of bias. In a single blind study, either the patients or the investigators are blind to the allocation. In a double blind study, usually both patients and investigators are blind to the allocation. The double blind study is considered as the gold standard as it minimizes the risk of various types of biases such as observer bias or confirmation bias. In a triple blind study, patients, investigators and outcome data analysts are blind to the allocation. Going back to our study, Let's now answer the fourth question of the CASP checklist. We'll first ask whether the participants and investigators were blind to the intervention. From the term double blind in the title, we can expect both patients and investigators to be blind. Details on how it was done can be found on page 810 under the study design section where the authors describe the study drug as being identical in appearance, odor and taste. So we can tick yes with confidence. We are then asked whether the people analyzing the outcomes are blind. The authors don't clearly state whether the data analysts were blinded. However, since they used the term double blind instead of triple blind, and we've now assessed that both patients and investigators were blind to treatment allocation, we can be quite confident that the people assessing the outcomes were not blinded. If unsure, you can always tick can't tell.